Hey guys, welcome back to Android Game Development Tutorial. So today we're gonna see how to add moving background to our game. <coughs> so today we'll be adding background images and we'll be giving a relative type motion for the background assets. And new background assets will be created after each one will be out of the screen. So background assets will be first of all one is ground. So look at this is basically the ground asset that we wanted. Next one is the grass that will be over that and next one will be the hill hilly areas that we want to create and the sky and the sun these are basically the background assets so we have to add this to our game back ground and hill sky and sun just pop that in the in game assets. and we'll do we'll add this to our assets it's public static texture texture uh, ground public static sprite sprite ground and I, I, I think this is more familiar to you guys because we have done this before just copy that paste three four five now yeah, you have to change all this we got to make grass grass then we make um, hill then we make it hill and we make it as um, sky and after that we make it sun so, so yeah so now we want to do is text initialize these things text uh, ground equal to texture index dot files dot internal dot path in game <coughs> and we have uh, crown.png zero ground dot png yeah and we say sprite ground equal to sprite and a new sprite uh, he gives us texture ground texture ground yeah now we flip it sprite ground dot flip that's x axis x coordinate is false and y axis is true yeah that's fine we'll just copy this and paste for the rest once and edit it copy paste one two three four yeah we we'll change this ground to grass and we use this one as back one as we named that in that way in the assets grass 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 and next is hill here also we change it as hill and he will change it as hill here we change it as hill yeah no, last one hill next is sky sky escape by sky here also we change it as sky here we change it as sky no it's a bit uh, boring yeah making changing changing thing but it's the best way you can do it so fast sky and next one is sun the last one sun we change here also as sun i will be putting this as assets in the drive and it will give you downloading links for you guys so you don't guys have you not just draw these things it's just fine and um, there are some parameters that i wish to tell you guys that's it's like um, 
you know the ground ground has a height of 60 pixels and this back the grass one it has 150 pixel sky has 700 pixel and the hill has 400 pixels so basically this will be uh, just think this is the ground this will be just over this here the hill will be just over that and sky will be all over so and the sun will be also in the middle so it's like you guys see I have made two things of look at this actually only first part this part one of this part one of the hill will be appearing on the screen the other will be act as an extension when uh, this will be the first part is out of the screen the next will be coming as a continuous one and after that we create a new one or we change the position of this the way that works is like all the things has 960 as with it is given that purposeful so that the things will be coming as continuous so we have uh, imported our assets now we go to make them come it's like uh, first of all you have <coughs> <coughs> our ground will ground grass hill and sky will be moving so we have to set the x coordinate as a variable so ground x comma grass x comma hill x comma sky x sky x yeah we initialize those mm. Ground x equal to zero, grass x equal to zero, hill x equal to zero, and sky. I'm sorry. Oh, again, sorry. Sky x equal to zero. Yeah. So we have put it down there. Now we go here. And it's like uh, we're gonna draw our assets first. For we go, we'll draw the sky. It will be the most background patch dot draw mm, and it's search dot uh, sprite ground no first we draw the sky I'm sorry sky and position will be x position zero and y position will be zero yeah that's cool and we just copy this copy Page, page, one, two, three, four, five, and the exposition will be sky x. And for the next will be the hill, hill, and its exposition will be hill x. And uh, we'll set it as 50, just uh, hill do not have that much height, that's why. Next will be sun. No, it's not 50. I will change it. This will be 50. Yeah, that's fine. Sun will be a constant one. It might, it, he might not be moving. Next is um, gra no, ground x. Ground. So we change this ground x. Ground x. Yeah. And this will be okay. I will, I will later. I will give the y coordinate. Grass grass x so so basically uh, look um, in our screen <coughs> the grass will be at the bottom since grass sorry not grass ground ground will be at the bottom ground has a width of around uh, 60 yeah no, no not with uh, height of 60 so we have to put the 854 minus 854 minus 60 yeah that's 794 so we Put ground x is 7, oh, 794 and grasses will be just above that. Grass x has an grass has an height of 150, so we just keep for safety as one. Well. Just like the grass is behind the ground, like that. So we just put that uh, 794 minus 145, that's 649. So let me put the y x 649 yeah uh, so it's like uh, grass ground sun is big snow the hill hills have i suppose 
so we can just put like uh, the hill has a height of 400 so you just put it as uh, 649 minus 400 that's 249 just increase it as 349 since height is unprivileged and for sky sky uh, we will just set it as zero that's, uh, it's fine now we have drawn it now we go to update its positions so we go here in the general update we will just put yes uh, first one is uh, the afternoon ground ground x minus equal to since we have a speed of the minus 5 we put plus 4 and grass x minus equal to 3 because it's a relative motion just suppose the ground is moving at uh, 4 speed the grass will be moving at 3 speed so we when we look we think that uh, grass is behind the ground uh, such a layer feeling we will get just for that we have making diff different speed for different assets now is the hill hill equal to it's like uh, we will put it as 2 so it's another light behind the grass so we, and then we put it as sky x minus equal to 1 so it's the least one so we will be feeling sky is more behind uh, lot far behind than the man so now we have to update again again this grass ground hill sky whenever it is out of the screen so for that we will write the code if, <coughs> if um, sorry if sky x is less than and uh, our position 48 minus 480 is the position so one of the one part of the sky will be on screen another part will be out of the on the left side of screen so 480 is minus 480 is the position we just put as minus 490 for 79 as a precaution yeah if it's like that then sky x equal to 0 that's pretty good and we we'll copy this copy Paste, paste, paste. So how many? This one, two, three, four. Yeah, uh, four is enough. Yeah, that's fine. Now we'll change sky axis. Uh, helix and helix less than four ninety eight. Yeah, this is because the gradation is minus two. That's why I put like that. And now is the grass grass x and four ninety seven since the gradation is minus three. Grass, we have to change it to here. Yes. Hill X, and I forgot that. Sorry, and here it is ground X, ground X, and it is 76. And let this be ground X. So, I think we are pretty cool here. Just I think we have done here. So, we just go to go there and check it out. I already connected my device and just me let me take the camera. Yeah, it's all running out here. So I'll show you guys. So guys, yeah. You can see oh yeah, nice. Yeah, so that was it. Just playing nice. So it's Okay guys, thank you guys. Hope you found it more interesting. The next time we are gonna see, we will see how to make scores, record scores and record it in the system that we want to see. So thanks guys, stay tuned, love and peace.